The Melba Story. The story of Australia's most famous woman. The true story, fully authenticated, and featuring another wonderful Australian singer, Glenda Raymond. The Melba Story. After Melba's great triumph at Milan in the early part of 1893, she became embarrassingly popular and found herself being pursued by a most persistent admirer, a handsome young man who gave his name only as Giovanni. To escape his attentions, Melba went to Venice where she had to meet her old friend Tosti, who insisted on taking her to a grand fete at the house of an Italian nobleman, the Count de Falieri. On meeting the Count, Melba was amazed to find that he was none other than Giovanni, her would-be lover. So, you're the Count de Falieri. Fate decreed it so, Elena. What is this? Have you two met before? We have known each other all our lives, Tosti. All your lives? But the Madame Melba comes from Australia. Have you been to Australia, Count? In spirit, I too was born there. Oh, ridiculous. Tosti, take me home. But we've only just arrived. It doesn't matter. I've already seen enough. Wait. Let me show you the soul of a Venice. No, thank you. I'm leaving. I will not let you go. Young man, you may be the Count de Falieri and a most important figure in this part of the world, but to me, you're... You're, you're just a nuisance. Oh, how can you say such a thing, Elena? Please don't call me Elena. But is not that your name? Tosti, is she not called Elena? I think, my friend, that you'd better call her Madam. I should think so. This has gone beyond a joke. At first I took it all in good part. I, I thought it was just in fun. Fun? Oh, Madonna mia. But the time has come when your attentions are not only most unwelcome, but quite intolerable. Every cruel word you utter is like a knife pressed into my heart. That's just silly. You only need a knife pressed once into your heart to kill you. <laughs> very good, Nelly. <laughs> very clever. Very true. <laughs> I'm not joking, Tosti. Yeah. This man has made my life so miserable in Milan that I was glad to go to Venice to get away from him. And now, almost as soon as I arrive, I meet him again, as my host. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh at. <laughs> I was laughing at the idea of your going to Venice to get away from me. <laughs> What's so amusing about that? <laughs> well, you see, I live here at Venice. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was on you, Nelly. <laughs> Be quiet. Tosti, are you going to take me back to my hotel? Yes. Yes, I am ready. Come on, then. Wait. What's the trouble now? Why do you ask this Tosti to take you home? What is there between you? Answer me. Between us? Don't answer him, Tosti. He's quite mad. Beware. I am not to be trifled with. What? Love can be gentle and kind. But love can also be remorseless and terrible. Do not try me too far. Tosti. Take my arm, Nelly. No. Out of my way, Bambino. Bambino. I kill you for that. Oh, no, Nucha, dare me, Bambino. Now you are doomed, Tosti. Come, Nelly. With pleasure. Buona notte, Bambino. Oh. Thank you, Tosti. You've been wonderful. I'm uh, sorry that your first night in Venice was so unhappy, Nelly. But we will make up for that. Oh, I was so looking forward to being here. Now I, I'm going to hate it. Oh, no. You could never hate Venice. Wait, this is the most beautiful, the, the most romantic city in the whole world. Oh, you must not let it be spoiled by this foolish young man. But he lives here, and he, he'll keep on annoying me. If he dares to intrude himself again, I will throw him into the Grand Canal. <laughs> Oh, that might do him some good. Oh, oh, and speaking of the Grand Canal, I have an idea. Yes? Yes. You know, of course, that in Venice, most of the traveling is by gondola. 
Well, yes, of course. Didn't we see Sir Arthur Sullivan's comic opera together in London? Well, you will find that the real gondoliers are not very much like Marco and Giuseppe. Uh, uh, there is one I know named uh, Ambrogio. <laughs> oh, what a divine name. <laughs> Perhaps, but uh, Ambrogio is not very godlike. However, he has a fine voice and will undoubtedly join us in a little concert. What concert? Oh, think of it, Nelly. A beautiful night with the moonlight silvering the roof of every palace along the Grand Canal. The ripple of the water as a gondola drifts slowly along. And on each side of the canal, crowds of Venetians drinking in the beauty of your voice. Oh, Tosti, it sounds wonderful. Oh, but I, I couldn't sing unaccompanied. Oh, do not worry. I know a couple of fellows who'll be glad to provide the music, if they're paid enough. I'll attend to that. But when can we do this, Tosti? Soon? The weather is uh, perfect at present. Now, why not tomorrow night, eh? Oh, yes, tomorrow night. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Nelly, this is your gondolier, Ambrogio. And this lady, Ambrogio, is the celebrated Madame Melba. Greetings, Signora. I am uh, the celebrated Ambrogio. It's good of you to let us use your gondola for our little concert, Ambrogio. Will you sing for us too? Certamente, Signora. And here, Nelly, uh, Carlo and Umberto, who've come along to help us. Uh, Carlo plays the guitar and Umberto the accordion. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm so glad you were able to come. Buonasera, signora. Grazie tante. Well, well, let us waste no more time. Here, Nelly, let me help you. Oh, <laughs> thank come you, on. Tosti, dear. Oh, yes. Take my arm, signora. No, 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 no. Uh, now me. Be careful, Tosti. You'll fall. Oh, no fear of that, Nelly. Here, uh, uh, please, step or go. Uh, not that side, please. Oh, why not? Because it is a dangerous... Uh, nonsense. Tosti, don't argue. I'm not arguing, Nelly, but Ambrogio is a fool. It's my gondola. I give the order. Uh, Do as he says, Tosti. Uh, very well. Come, Carlo, Umberto. We are here, signor, at your service. Right, oh, cast off, Ambrogio. I know what to do. This is wonderful. Well, then let us have some music. Uh, what shall it be, eh? I leave it to you. Then, uh, sing my serenata. Are you ready, gentlemen? Si, si. We are ready. Then play well, please. My song, it is beautiful. All right, come there to you, start. Uh, si, si, Carlo. Uh, I start. <laughs>
That was a wonderful, Nelly. I've never heard my song sung so perfect. Thank you, Tosti. Carlo and Umberto, you play so well. Oh, oh yes. yes. Uh, hey, bravo, bravo. Sit down, Tosti. Be careful. Oh, oh, oh. Tosti! Stop, please stop. Tosti's fallen into the canal. In a few moments, we'll return to the Melba story. The Melba Story. Tosti's fallen into the canal. Help! Help! I'm drowning! You are not drowning at all. The water is only up to your knees. Oh, Tosti, you do look comical standing there. <laughs> look! Everyone is laughing at me. I don't blame them. It was your own fault that you fell in the water. If you had kept your seat. How could I keep my seat when I heard my own music being sung by an angel? Wait. I will tell these fools the truth. And then perhaps they will stop this silly laughter. Listen, all of you. Listen. Do you know who suggests the song for you? Melba herself. Oh. And, and do you know what she's saying? Tosti is a serenata. And who do you think is a Tosti, eh? I am a Tosti. <laughs> they want you to sing again, Nelly. Oh, no, not so soon. Let us hear Ambrogio with one of his folk songs. Oh, but I, signora, I am not an opera singer. I am uh, just a gondolier. Come, come on, my friend, no arguments. If Melba were not your passenger, you would sing without asking. Please, Ambrogio. Well, if the signora commands. Uh, but first, signor Tosti, get back into the gondola. Yes, Tosti, you can't stay in the canal all night. Oh, oh I had forgotten I was there. Here, Ambrogio, uh, give me your head. Uh, uh, come then, uh, with oh. you. Oh. 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 They're, they're laughing at me again. Uh, quickly, Ambrogio, sing something. Uh, do your friends know Marichiare? Marichiare? Oh, yes. Well, we know it well. Oh, well, sing that then, Ambrogio. Uh, si, si, yes, signor. Yes, all right. Let us start, Ambrogio. Sponta la nura mare chiare pur le pisce c'è con l'amore. Se revotta la nave del mare per la fria e cogna la fulove, quanta sponta la nura mare chiare. A mare chiare se sponta. Just 
dolce state caroli fallaria dolce Happier as a gondolier, Signora. Yes, perhaps you're right. Oh, I can't imagine anything better than this. Moonlight on the water. The little gondolas drifting in on us from all sides. The lanterns gleaming faintly along the canal. You spoke the truth, Tosti, when you said Venice was a city of dreams. Look in there, Lily. The banks of the canal are crowded with people. The word has quickly gone abroad that Melbourne is giving a concert from a gondola. Do they really know I'm here? The people of Venice love music, Signora. Some of those you see up there have undoubtedly got up from their beds to hear you. Then I'd better sing again for them. What shall it be this time, Dorsey? Uh, what else about uh, Okitokini? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Yes.
they are throwing coins to you, Signora. I don't want their money. It gives them pleasure, Signora. Although they are very poor, let them have their way. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Uh, let us go on. Avanti! Avanti! Behold, Signora, we approach once more our starting place. So soon, Ambrogio. Oh, I could go on all night. What time is it, Tosti? It's close to midnight. How many suns have we sent tonight? I don't know. I lost count. But I wouldn't have cared if it had been a hundred. And here we are at the landing stage. What a pity our little expedition has to end. But I suppose we can't expect enchantment to go on forever. You will make it possible, my dear. Thank you, Tosti, for saying that. Behold, we are here. Uh, let me help you, Nelly. No, it's all right. I can manage. Uh, who is this waiting for us, Signora? A friend of yours? Where? Look, he is approaching. Oh, what do you want? Out of my way, you. It's Giovanni. Yes, Giovanni. The man you have treated so shamefully. What are you talking about? Did I not say that blood would flow if you spurned me? Don't be silly. Very well. You shall see. Stand aside. No. Then I shall deal with you as you deserve. No, Tosti. Be careful, Signore. Careful. He has a gun. The Count di Falieri, who had pursued Melba from Milan to Venice, now appears again, and this time is a positive menace to her safety. We learn how she faced this dangerous situation in the next chapter of The Melba Story. The Melba Story was written by John Ormiston Reed and produced by Dorothy Crawford. The music was under the direction of Hector Crawford. Marichiari was sung by Mario Dane. The role of Melba was spoken by Marcia Hart and sung by the Australian coloratura soprano, Glenda Raymond.